welcome along to the OTB Games Room in partnership with Virgin Media. Bring your A game with 99.9% broadband reliability. In the hot seat today is the former Dundalk manager, Vinnie Perth. Good You're morning. Welcome, Vinnie. How are you? I'm all right. It's very simple. You want to score as many goals as you possibly can. You've gone for Liverpool. I'm Shamrock Rovers. Uh, I did. I have to be Shamrock Rovers in every game. I didn't, you know, just to bring back bad memories of the cup final in 2019 for you. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Forget all the other good times we no, did no, beat well, them. Well, sorry, yeah, I remember we the cup final one. in 2019. No Do you think about that game a lot? All the time, to be honest. Really? With you. Yeah. It's it's still me probably my biggest regret in football. And do you regret decisions you made around selection, tactics, or just the fact that you lost the shootout? Um, oh, we weren't good enough on the day, but there was there was obviously good reasons for that at the time in terms of losing Patrick McElhenney and Chris Shields really went against us on the day, so um, Oof. Um, so that that didn't help. But ultimately, as a manager, I think or a coach, you, you sort of we had I had some great times at Dundalk, as I suppose I should never forget. But at the same time, you remember the losses. Uh, a lot of people do, you know. Ronan Finn, good ball. Oh! Oh! What? How is that not a penalty? Absolutely nothing. Oh my god. Nothing in there. The Michael Duffy goal in the cup final is like, if you, is that, as you look back in your life and you're going to have to say kids and all that sort of stuff, like that moment when that goal goes in, that's as good as it gets. Yeah, it was a special moment, but unfortunately you sort of forget them when, when the result goes against you. Remember, like, if, it, if it's okay to say it, that was a penalty shootout from winning five trophies out of five. So it would have been one of the most memorable League of Ireland seasons of all time. And, uh, well, look, I'm speaking personally, but I think that group of players probably deserved that moment for me and um, for what they had done over the, the years before. So it's probably the, the biggest regret. Uh, I have regrets around Europe and maybe the odd decision here and there, but it's probably the biggest regret I have and, and sort of it's one that sort of haunts me I, I, I wouldn't be afraid to use that language it probably haunts me a little bit you know I just felt that team we started out in two, 2013 and that was probably it that was probably for me uh, what sh they should have capped that um, that whole sort of time with a with a with the five out of five trophies it was there for them Dave Manus. Offside, surely. So when you're watching a game now, just a Champions League game or a Premier League game or League of Ireland, are you sitting back, relaxing, and enjoying it? Or are you analysing everything with the coaches head on? Oh, a bit of both. A bit of both. Like I watched Liverpool and Brighton yesterday and you're watching the sort of shape of the teams and you're watching Brighton set up and how they ping back Liverpool's fullbacks, etc. But um but at the same time, I've probably watched more League of Ireland football in the last 12 months than I did in my whole life. And because you just, you're a fan, you're, you, you want to see is there any new trends, all of that stuff. So it's, it's quite a mixture. So did you grow up a Rovers fan? No, uh, so I mean, a little bit of League of Ireland history for people is the local club from Tala was St. Patrick's Athletic, you know, when I was growing up. Um, the, where the ground is now is where a lot of people from Tala would have played or maybe um, or, or would have played around or hung around or maybe had the odd can of beer. Let's right. just put it that way. It was a field. So um, um, St. Pat's was sort of my club and would have went and watched Pat's a lot. Even even they play, they had a spell down in um, uh, Harold's Cross. So I would have seen them a lot in those venues. But it, isn't it interesting how Rovers have, have sort of taken over Tala where there is... If you go back to the European games there, when, when Pats played, the amount of, I went to the game and the amount of people coming sort of from around the, the Tala area, Kilnard and Jobstown, who, who were in Pats gear. Right. Uh, so there's a huge amount of, oh, penalty, penalty. Ah, never, never. Getting into manager mode now, be. Ah, oh, game over. I'd rather lose 4-3 than <laughs> You're above Alan Quinlan. Oh, that's good. But you're behind Jer Gilroy. Jer had his first shot on target earlier than you did. Both nil-nil draws. I'll accept that, so. Nice one, Vinny. 